Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a simple gradient type light leak in iMovie. A lot of my viewers have iMovie, it's a very simple editing system. It is available for Macs, but if you guys have like a PC, you could use something else like Sony Vegas or anything that has the ability to keyframe or animate. So the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need your editor open. So again, I'm going to be using iMovie. This is going to be a very simple tutorial that everyone can easily understand, or at least that's my goal. So everything's going to be very simplistic here. The first thing that you're going to need to get in order to create this is a gradient background. Now, if you go, if you know how to create your own gradient background, you can go ahead and do that. If you do not, really easy to find one on Pinterest. All you have to do is search in gradient backgrounds and you have a wide selection of things that you can choose from um, just make sure that everything is okay for you to use it and you know it's not somebody selling their work so this one looks pretty cool this is iPhone 5 wallpaper works for me what you want to do is you want to click it and drag it over to your desktop Okay, once you have that saved, go ahead and open up iMovie. This is what iMovie looks like for those of you that are new to the system. What you want to do is go into your finder, go to desktop, and go ahead and find that picture and drag it in. Now I realize not everyone is going to be using iMovie, just so you know it can be done in pretty much anything. Then what you want to do is, this doesn't really matter here, the main thing is you want to copy this by clicking, if you're on a Mac, Command C and then Command V will paste it. You could also right click, copy and paste. Then what you want to do is you want to go here to the second one, go to the crop tool, click fit, and then click rotate so that it fills up the entire item. And then click this check mark. This is going to put it into this. You want to take this and drag it on top of your other clip. Now, because this is really, really like only four seconds long, you might need to make it longer. So go ahead up into this setting here and drag it down. This just makes things a little bit more compact and drag it out to as long as you want to make this. So this is almost about 30 seconds, so we can make it an even 30. Boom, okay. Now make sure you're following all of these tips because if you do not follow these steps, it will not work. So go ahead and click on this top item here until it's highlighted in yellow. You want to go to this little square and it's going to automatically have cutaway. You want to click on that and make sure you choose picture in picture. Then it's going to make it really tiny. You're going to make it big and keep expanding it until it's like one color. Then what you're going to be able to do is there's going to be this 30 second black area here. You want to drag those out and make it zero. While you remain on this, you want to drag your um, starter to the beginning right here and you're going to go back into that picture and picture item. And you're going to see this little tool here. This is called keyframing. So this is how you're going to animate your um, gradient light leak. So you want to click on that, click the space bar on your keyboard, play for a couple seconds, stop it, and then drag to a different color and then you just repeat it Oops. just make sure you don't get the other background in there And the more space you put between your little keyframes, the uh, slower it's going to appear to be like moving around. <laughs> and you can change it up too. So you want to do this until you get to the very end. Change up the direction of movement too, because it's going to pick up on all this little texture here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, pretty easy, just time consuming. Okay, so then that's done. Then you want to play it, make sure 
that you like the way it looks. But yeah, that's pretty much how you make the light leak. And you could put this on top of videos or kind of whatever you would like to do it. So what you want to do is once you're happy with this, you want to go ahead and save it. But if you wanted to slow it down, what you could do is you can go into the effects here. Oopsie, not that. It's the... Um, gotta go into here but because it's an overlay you can't do that so what you want to do is you want to go to file share and then you want to share as a file and you could put it as light leak or whatever you want make sure the resolution is 1080p quality is high and then click next save it to desktop and what's great about iMovie is it gives you this little circle and as it renders or as it creates the video, it's going to fill up until it's a completely filled circle. Depending on how fast your computer works, this might be really fast or it could take a while. Also depending on how long your light leak is. I find that about 30 seconds is probably about good. But again, you might need to adjust it as you please. So if this is too fast um, and you don't like it, I'm going to show you how you can actually edit it to make it slower. Unfortunately, iMovie, you have to jump through some boundaries, I guess, that the program sets. While in Final Cut Pro, you don't have to export each time you make a creation. So that's one of the benefits of Final Cut Pro, but I do realize Final Cut Pro is super expensive. So this is telling me that it's all ready, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this out. Go into my finder where I found or where I created my um, light leak. So I saved it as light leak. Here it is. And you're going to drag that back in. So now this is what it looks like. And then you could put this on top of a video or whatever you want. But here you could also change the speed of it. So click on this and click on this little gauge button here. It's going to be normal, slow, fast, or custom. I like to go to custom just because it kind of allows you to be, I don't know, customized. So the slower you put it or the slower you want it, the lower the number it's going to be. So if you want to play 10%, it's going to be super slow. I'm going to probably try about 70% and try that out. So then this is what it's going to look like at 70%. I still think it's a little bit too fast. So I'm going to go ahead back in and edit that to maybe like 50%. So that it's a little bit slower. Um, yeah, so just kind of play around with whatever you want it to be. Probably settle at about 60%. Yeah, so that is how you create a light leak in iMovie. It's really, really easy, um, and I think it's, I don't know, it's just so easy to do. Um, but for those of you that want to put this over top of a clip, or if you wanted to add text to it, you can do that. But I'll show you how to add it over top of a clip if I can find something that looks decent. These are all from, like, when I used to vlog and whatnot. So... Mm. Just put this here, drag in your clip, I'm going to get rid of the sound, and then I'm going to delete some of this out, take your clip and drag it on top. You want this to go down in opacity. And there is your light lake on top of a video. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please be sure to let me know down below in a comment. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.